Day 20 is here. Welcome back to the Making Hope Happen series. My name is Lori Mage, and this is the 100 day challenge where I'm stacking my energy, work, and love goals and sharing 100 of my favorite tools, tips, and ideas to help you and me more effectively navigate change, master our transitions, and make our dreams come true. So bring to mind whatever challenge you've got going on, whatever dream you're trying to make come true, whatever transition you're in the middle of. Here's one tip that can help you with all three of those. A tracking system, a way to keep score. Do you have a way to keep score? Do you have a tracking system? If you don't, it's gonna be really, really hard to stay committed and to stay positive. Think about this for a minute. Imagine that you're gonna go bowling with a bunch of your friends. You guys are going to the bowling alley. It's all COVID safe. You don't even have to wear a mask or anything like that. It's super awesome. And you get to the bowling alley and you find the perfect ball. You're surrounded by the perfect people. You got your perfect adult beverage. You got all that good stuff there and you start bowling. And this particular bowling alley though, there's no way to keep score. There's no scoreboard. As a matter of fact, the pins are covered with a curtain. All you can see is the ball roll into the pins. You don't even know how many pins you knock down each time, right? So you don't know if you've bowled a total of two frames, 10 frames, if you got a strike, if you got a spare, you don't know who's winning, you don't know who's behind, you don't know any of that stuff. How long are you gonna wanna keep bowling? How long are you gonna wanna keep rolling the ball down the lane, not knowing what the score is, not knowing how you're doing, not knowing who's winning, who's losing, not knowing any of that stuff. How long are you gonna to wanna to keep bowling? Probably not very long, right? Because there's no way to keep score. And the same is true when it comes to navigating change and mastering our transitions, building habits, making our dreams come true. If we don't have a way to keep score and to measure our progress, we're not gonna stay engaged very long, even if you have the best equipment, the best exercise equipment, even if you have the best friends surrounding you, you're not gonna stick with it. You gotta have a way to keep score. You gotta have a way to track your progress. And so I don't know if you guys can see this here, but it might be backwards on this video now. But this is the 100 day challenge of the meltdown. We're, we're gonna celebrate this tonight. Jen and I, we've been tracking this. This is day 20 here. And then I've also got a calendar downstairs that shares all of the different topics I've talked about so far in the 20 days. And it's my way of staying engaged with it and keeping score and seeing progress. So do you have a way to track? Do you have a way to keep score? Another fun little tip here comes from, oh, you get a bonus today. This one comes from Jerry Seinfeld. It has been said that Jerry became a great comedian by writing a joke every single day. And he focused on the consistency of writing a joke every single day and he tracked his progress. It didn't matter if the, if the joke was good, if it was bad, if it was long, if it was short, if it was one word, if it was a knock knock joke or a full story, it didn't matter as long as he wrote a joke every single day. And when he would write that joke, he would get to put, he'd had this big giant wall calendar in his apartment in, in, in New York and he'd put a big old X there whenever he would tell a joke. And he'd line those up and the goal was to never break the streak, never break the streak, never break the streak. When we're trying to go across that river of change, across that transition from one side to the other, we don't want to break the streak and get stuck in an eddy somewhere and going down a waterfall and stop and stop paddling. We got to keep paddling. We got to keep writing the jokes. We got to keep doing the workout. We got to keep learning the new system. We got to keep trying. And one way to keep us engaged and keep trying is a way to keep score. So how are you keeping score with your change? That's it for today. I hope you got some value. I'll be back tomorrow with another nugget of goodness to help you and me make the best of 2021. Happy New Year to you. I hope you have a fantastic, safe, healthy night. And uh, as you think about what you want to create in 2021, be thinking about ways that you want to track your progress. It's going to help you stay engaged and it's going to help you master that transition and accomplish your goals with more confidence. I'll see you later. Bye. Day. 20.